Hi, I'm EW's Chancellor Agard, and I'm here with the cast of Marvel's Ants of S.H.I.E.L.D. to discuss the grand series finale. Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Chancellor! Hey, Chancellor! Hey, Chancellor. Hey, Chancellor. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hey. I'm good. Um, I'm curious for you guys. Have all of you had a chance to watch the finale yet? No. Chloe didn't watch I it. Not. <laughs> Wait, call me out. <laughs> I didn't know we had it until late last night. One of the no, we weren't told we had it. Yeah. I didn't know we had it. Yeah, but it's know. emotional, though. No. Sometimes you don't want to watch it yet. You know? You yeah, I, I didn't want to like, no, rush Chloe it. No, but Chloe hasn't watched any of the episodes. It's weird. <laughs> like, no idea what's happening. I, I'm excited to watch it. I think I'm going to make a big deal out of watching it and kind of I don't know. It's weird. It's so weird. It's so weird to turn it on and do the thing and actually it's a finish two it. Hour, it's a two-hour finale, right? Yeah. This is the last mission together, isn't it? Two episodes, yeah, the last two episodes. Um, I mean, I mean, what's weird too is that you guys shot this a little over a year ago. I mean, what was what was that experience like as as far as you guys remember shooting? what you guys knew would definitely be the series finale. I just want to say the oldest member of the cast, for me, it was very exciting because I had no idea what was going to happen. I was just like, oh my God, oh wow. So very exciting. I just, it's like when I order Amazon, it's like Christmas every day, like what could this be? <laughs> I don't remember really what happens either. So I'm excited to see it. It's going to break learn. you though. Really? Yeah. I remember reading it did, I just cause you know, it's sad, but. Yes. Well, my, my next question was for you actually about the finale. I think one of the things I really liked about it was your fight with Nathaniel because we get to see Daisy not only use her quake powers, but also her martial arts powers or martial arts skills, which she's learned from May. I felt like it was a nice way yeah. to capture how much she's grown and evolved over the seven seasons. I mean, for you, it's, I guess as much as you remember, what do you remember about shooting yeah. Sequence. I guess, did you feel this was a culmination of something as you guys were shooting that? Yeah, I think that's probably, the, it was harder to be more emotional when we were shooting the kind of the last day because it was all fighting and you kind of have to, like as everyone here knows, when you're when you're in doing stunts, it's like you don't really get to be emotional. You have to focus on just like not getting punched in the face. But it felt really fun to end on, like of all the people to end on a quake versus quake situation, you know, because that never gets to happen it was definitely had its challenges but i feel like they did a really good job with that i haven't seen it yet but i do feel like it's a very fitting kind of uh like an amalgamation of all the fight techniques i've learned throughout the seasons and, and from different characters and it was really fun very difficult fight but fun and, and kevin tancheron um directed it and he's amazing with the yeah. uh with yeah. the fight, fight scenes too and stuff um you know, he because really knows right how to enhance it. I mean, Ming, you, you had your own moment too when you dropped down and said, the cavalry's here um, in your own big fight. I mean, <laughs> that, that was also... my idea, actually. I wanted, I wanted, it? yes, oh, I, I, I asked that. him about it because I wanted May to finally like accept that nickname and accept all her, you know, emotional baggage that she'd been carrying for the last seven years and just, you know, like revel in it as opposed to, being afraid of being the cavalry. I was pretty happy about that. The fact that they, you know, added that in. I know for the season, a lot of people really were sort of wanting Fitzsimmons together again. And we finally got that in the end. They, you, um, Ian and Elizabeth reunited on screen. We found out that Fitz and Simmons had a child. I mean, for you guys, after spending most of the season apart, what was it like this sort of to come back together for these sort of final three episodes and find out what, your, what the fate of your characters would be? Oh, well, I loved it. I was, I was so, it was so good. I mean, we've been apart, you know, in multiple seasons, but I think there's something about it just, for me, it feels like coming home a little bit. When I get Ian in a scene, it's like, oh, this is how we started. And it's so comfortable and just, um, I'm a little bit obsessed with them as characters. So for me to be in a scene um, as Simmons with Fitz is like, it's just, it's very special. Yeah, I agree. There isn't, that, you know, that sh there isn't a kind of shield experience without Elizabeth. That kind of is the whole, for me, anyway, yeah, is that experience, you know, me and her together. So oh. it's quite a, uh, it's weird doing something. I've done something since without her. It's weird not having her on set. It's bizarre oh. not oh. her being there. I know it's yeah. like oh. and things. Yeah. Huh? The fans, are, the fans are gonna flip. They're gonna just. Yeah. It's like we both keep our wedding rings out. beside us. Like, oh, should we get them out? <laughs> <laughs> You go first. Should we? Someone tell, please. Yeah. Should we? I'll get my. Show friend. us he high keep it. I keep it beside me all the time. 
you know. <laughs> um, so, um, so, so I'm guessing though you both were happy with with these two finally getting a happy ending and finally sort of ending up at home together with the child, I guess. Yeah, it's perfect. I mean, we've kind of been a bit of a reflection, the characters of Marissa Tantarone and Jed Whedon, um, two of our co-creators. And for, for Fitzsimmons to have a daughter and they had a daughter on the show, it just, it felt so just perfect. And um, yeah, I, I think it's such a, like a beautiful ending for Fitzsimmons and also obviously kind of a big beginning as well. And uh, speaking of the Fitzsimmons family, I mean, uh, Jeff, uh, Deke gets left <laughs> in an alternate timeline. Uh, have you thought about what he's getting up to in that alternate dimension? Of course. Yeah, he has, as, as definitely. I think it was DJ Doyle that pitched a, a, um, po a post-credits mini scene that I was very sad that we didn't get to shoot, but we talked a lot about it, which was that somebody would walk into a shield office and there'd be the back of a chair and it would spin around and it was me with an eye patch. And I'm really, I, in my mind, in my mind, he wears an eye patch at like, just because like, I don't know if Nick Fury is in this timeline or not, but he wears, and I think he can still see fine, but it's just about a power and cool thing. So like it's you know it's an effect. So I I imagine so he has an eye patch. Yo oh, yeah, he's donned an eye patch, <laughs> and he's running. Yeah, change his eyes sometimes. Sometimes <laughs> people and people get confused. depending on his mood. Wasn't it your other eye? And it's he's <laughs> upset about that. But equal, equal, uh, and he's equal. also he's a, he has a very successful career as a rock star, which is the ultimate cover for being Phil. shield director. Like imagine if you found out. David Bowie was like, you know, the head of MI6. <laughs> is, that, is that the appropriate one? It'd be great. It'd be hilarious. It's great. You'd never think it. <laughs> Except it was in the episode. That was your whole episode. Know, is there life on Mars? <laughs> we'll find out. Field <laughs> and back in the normal timeline, I mean, uh, Henry and Natalia, I mean, we have um, Mac and Yo-Yo. They're back at you. Mac is enjoying his new view. Yo Yo's back out on the field, apparently leading her own team. I guess, how did you guys feel about how things wrapped up for your characters? Um, I, I I love that final scene with um, with Brianna and Max and Yo Yo. I love that her team is a couple of characters that we love that we didn't really get to see in this final season, and they they end up coming back. They're friends. Yeah, I, I loved how they wrapped up Yo Yo. That she's you know under Director Mackenzie's command and. She's, you know, sort of what she never wanted to be. She ends up being a, an agent and part of the institution. So I, I really loved it. You know, I, 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 I just said I wanted to, um, when we were all together saying goodbye, I wanted to say a term of endearment to her. So it was uh, clear to the audience that they were still together. Because for me, I just wanted them to, you know, I just wanted to, I didn't want it to be like, oh, they're off working and they, they're just doing their thing. I wanted them, uh, Mac and Yo-Yo, to have, to be, to, to be together and to show that to the audience. So that was my pitch. What was the term of endearment? We, we had trouble finding that one because they had written something that was so bizarre. I remember it. I think it was just something like my love or something like that. You said it in Spanish, didn't you? I did. Chloe and, and Ver, I mean, Daisy and Sousa, I ended up being end game. Uh, for you guys, what do you think sort of makes those two work as a couple? I think just it, like in real life, how absolutely improbable the whole thing is. It's just uh, something doesn't <laughs> work until somebody comes along and, and breaks all of the rules, you know? It just felt, I don't know. It was, we, we uh, Chloe and I had great chemistry. It just felt, it felt pretty easy. It's been like, I full blown have been fangirling about them <laughs> on screen, which I haven't done for any other of the people that I, that Daisy was with. It's so sweet. I actually really think it's really, really cute. And they, I don't know, I just think that they're so opposite and they balance each other out so well. And it's, it's just, he, the chemistry worked like on camera and like, I mean, we hate each other in real life, but it's, He's the uh, first but, guy who ever kissed you who didn't die. I know. That's I a know. superpower all by itself. 
Really I gotta say though, Henry that. and him having those scenes laughing at oh, Quake so was great. so funny. So and great. Henry like asking the intent, like I just that made me just it was so so cute. And you guys were so good. And uh, but yeah, it's really really nice to see Daisy finally happy and uh, with the right one. I hope fans like it. Ming, uh, we find out that May is teaching now. I guess for you, uh, because we. When the, when, when, when the series started, she was behind a desk. Now she's sort of in a classroom 17 years later. I guess, how do you feel about where we left things off with her? I think it was very appropriate. And because May had always been the SO uh, to so many, um, you know, to Ward before he turned evil, um, to uh, uh, Sky before she became Daisy and Quake. And you know, it just, it was just a very fitting ending for her and also to kind of continue the S.H.I.E.L.D. legacy for future S.H.I.E.L.D. agents. Finally, Clark, as we, as we start to wrap up, um, you've said goodbye to Coulson many different times, many different <laughs> ways, uh, or, or said, 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 said goodbye to this universe. For you, I guess, where does the sort of series finale rank for you? Uh, in terms of the goodbyes, the many goodbyes you've had to say to this universe and to this character over, over, over the past decade. I mean, of all the of all of them, even the ones within this show, the end of the seven, basically seven years together, all the all the years and the hours and the stunts and the rehearsals and the ADR and the driving and the and the you know sorting out problems and it just felt like a deeper kind of fuller farewell. Uh, to a lot of people uh, that spend a lot of time working really hard to make something good. So I found it very moving and it's very moving to come back to it again. Get ready. Three, two, one. Now. And to wrap up last question for all of you, uh, I mean, because people love uh, reboots and revivals, say five, 10 years, Marvel's like, we need you to reprise your roles in a new thing, a revival of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., how many of you are a game? What would it take for you guys to sort of step back into these? An eye patch. <laughs> yeah, an eye patch, yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Whatever they make out of uh, the all of our props that they're selling that, yes. that, to give it to us, that's what. Yeah, that's a good call. <laughs> yeah. a good call. Awesome. Yeah. And also a really good stunt double, one or two, because five years later, it's gonna be <laughs> much tougher to do those stunt fights. <laughs> oh, you'll be just as young as you Ming's amazing. Yeah. You're so, it's unreal how good you are. I'm uh -oh. going to age long before Ming. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, guys. Well, thank you so much. Thank, thank you so much. For Thanks, Chancellor. Thanks, Thanks, Chancellor. Thanks, Chancellor. Thank Chancellor. Thank so good Bye. to see you. Bye. Stay safe. Bye.